Hello and welcome to Indus News. I am Faza Jamal bringing you top stories of this hour from our studios in Lahore. At least 32 people have been killed in an ISIS counter-attack in eastern Syria. This comes amid continued fighting between Kurdish-led Syrian rebels and ISIS near the city of Deir Ezzor. Meanwhile, Russian military police have started patrolling the surroundings of the Kurdish-controlled northern city of Manbij. Moving on, Prime Minister Imran Khan has said that bilateral talks are the only way forward for Pakistan and India. In an interview with TRT World, Khan said that war between the two nuclear-armed neighbors would be suicidal. Khan said that surging Indian atrocities in occupied Kashmir have fueled the indigenous freedom movement there. He said that Pakistan will do its best to help Afghanistan undergo a peaceful transition and to reach a political settlement. Meanwhile, ahead of general elections in four months' time, India's ruling BJP has lost a coalition partner in northeastern Assam state. The Assam Gana Parishad party quit after Prime Minister Narendra Modi's cabinet approved a bill to give citizenship to non-Muslims from neighboring countries. Two parties in northern Uttar Pradesh state have warned that they could also part ways with the BJP. Next, North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un has arrived in China for talks with President Xi Jinping. Kim's arrival in Beijing comes amid plans for another summit with U.S. President Donald Trump on ending North Korea's nuclear program. China has said that it will continue to support contacts between North Korea and the U.S. South Korea said that it hopes Kim's visit will be conducive to progress in the denuclearization and peace process. And after weeks of violent Yellow Vest protests, France has announced plans to ban the participation in unauthorized demonstrations. Prime Minister Edouard Philippe said that a new law will also ban known agitators from participating in protests. He said that violent protesters would be made to pay for the damage that they cause. <laughs> 